Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a German chocolate cake. I got this recipe from Bake's Oven. So the ingredients are four ounces of Baker's German chocolate, a half a cup of hot water, two sticks room temperature butter, two cups of white sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, one teaspoon of espresso coffee, four eggs, one cup of buttermilk, two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And we'll get into what the frosting entails in just a few minutes. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this video and I also hope that you hit that red button subscribe to the channel and join the family so before we get started on the main ingredients to this pot I had a half a cup of hot water and this Baker's chocolate German chocolate and I just put it in there you're gonna mix 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 you're gonna have to mix you cannot leave the stove you have to mix it and this is the consistency that you want it to be so it's a lot of stirring a lot of mixing but it will be worth it in the end So I'm mixing two sticks of butter and two cups of sugar. So now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of espresso coffee. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first Make that one teaspoon and a half of the instant espresso. The snow is falling down. And the storm is on its way. But as long as you're Everything will be okay Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow Now I'm adding Christmas. four eggs, but I'm only adding them one at a time as I mix the ingredients Now you want to add one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, she said that you can use sour cream and water mixed together as the substitute. Make sure you scrape the sides of your bowl down and get all of the ingredients in the bowl so you can mix it well. So now my flour mixture is two cups 
with one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And I'm gonna pour half into the bowl as I'm mixing, and then I'll add the other half to it. Now the chocolate that we melted, it should have been added when we put the one cup of buttermilk in, but it's okay. We're adding it in now, so you're gonna mix that up really well. Now I'm adding the other half of the flour mixture and I'm going to mix well. So my oven has preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put these two pans in here for 55 minutes. I use one stick of butter, one cup of brown sugar, I mix that together, added one can of evaporated milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, three eggs yolks, one cup of chopped pecans, one and a half cups of unsweetened coconut, I mix that together and I let it sit for 30 minutes. My frosting turned out great. I wish I had let it sit for longer than the 30 minutes because the longer you let it sit and soak up, the more it's more of a frosting and it will stick to the sides. But it was very tasty. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way But as long as you're around, everything 
everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you I've longed for this moment to have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere, the stars are never with me Tomorrow it is 